Hey, let's check out the new leads section. This is one of my favorite features we've done in a long time. I want to show you how it works. So you'll see um, in admin settings, you can turn on a new feature called leads. It says enable leads. So hop over to settings, enable leads. Once you've got that guy turned on, you'll see a new tab here, leads. You may also notice there's a new um, bit of form code you can put on your website. So just copy this thing, put it right on your website, and customers will be able to self-check in right from your website. Um, you can also just link them to your check-in page here at Repair Shopper. I'll show you that here right now. So on the Leads tab, new lead goes to your domain slash check-ins. You can just link customers right here. You do not have to be logged in to view this page. This may look familiar if you've seen the other form. If someone knows a ticket number and a last name, they can just log right in to their My Customer Portal, or um, so someone can start a new check-in. So the idea of this, with this is you could have this on an iPad at a little kiosk out in your shop, or someone can do this right on the web from their home without even coming into your shop. So let's say I'm John Doe, 206-505-1212, and John at test.com, and then get started. And now we just need a problem type. My browser zoomed in a little bit. Um, subject of the issue is won't turn on. And there's a little message. OK, so we submit this, and we're good to go. For, as far as the customer is concerned, that's it. They're done with the check-in. This is going to automatically redirect back to the main screen so your kiosk is reset. and. Um, you can go back to the admin section and you will see a new lead. So you see a new red one there with the fresh lead count. That means you've got a lead that's ready to be converted. So this is a two stage thing. Customers enter their info and that becomes a lead. You then get a chance to clean up this data before converting it into a customer and a ticket. This will also work uh, for blind inbound emails. So someone can send an email to your ticket email and a lead will be created. So you can go in and add the phone and email and then convert them to customers. So we can preview this, see what they said, or go straight to convert. Convert is showing us if this is a valid record. It is. We've got a phone and email and first and last name. We can add more info here if we want. Let's add a mobile phone. And um, now at this point we can either create just a customer, which will actually add them to the customers tab, it'll be a full blown customer, or we can create a customer and a ticket. So it's going to create a trouble ticket with this info. So I'm going to do that this time. Okay, now there's an actual customer and an actual ticket. We can click, here I'll control click this in a new tab. Here's their customer screen. This page probably looks familiar. And we've got a ticket. Won't turn on. We can click on through to this ticket. And there's a real trouble ticket here. Hopefully, this makes it easy to do online check ins. And blind email to customer and ticket is going to be a really cool feature. Have fun.